Hi, I'm Peter Bois, and in my STEM-infused magic show, Engineering Wonder, I use a toy propeller to show how thrust works. And I'm going to show you how you can make one for yourself with just a pencil and some recycling. I'm even going to share with you the files I use to 3D print the propeller I use in my show. First, let's learn about propellers and how they create thrust. A propeller is a rotating hub with blades on it. These blades are set at an angle, which is called the pitch of the blade. When you rotate the propeller, it forces air through the propeller. The more air you force through the propeller, the more thrust you will get. Thrust is the force which moves the propeller through the air and is defined by Newton's third law. For every action in nature, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The action is the rotating propeller and the reaction is the thrust it creates, which causes movement. It is time to make the propeller, so gather your materials. You're going to need a pencil. If you want to try my designs, print out the template I made. Go look through that recycling bin and look for some plastic containers. My containers used to have strawberries, blueberries, and spinach in them. You're going to need a hot glue gun and a hair dryer. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Then you're going to cut out all the templates you printed out. Don't be afraid to draw your own designs, cut them out, and use them for your propellers as well and test your ideas. Grab a container and cut off a cover. You're going to need a flat piece of plastic to cut your propellers out of. Use a marker to trace around the edges of your template and then cut along the lines. Do the same with all the templates or the designs you've drawn. We need our blades to have a steeper pitch or angle to them, so go ahead and grab that hair dryer and heat up the plastic and we're going to permanently melt it into a new position. Turn your hair dryer on the hottest setting and hold it to the center of your propeller blade for about 20 or 30 seconds and then you're going to twist it in the shape you want it to be in and hold it there while it cools off and it will cool off and hold the shape you've twisted it into. Then you're going to want to prepare your pencil. The metal for rule and eraser add a lot of weight to the pencil, so go ahead and saw those off or use a pair of metal snips and snip right through the pencil. It's time to assemble your propeller. Grab your hot glue gun and put a generous amount of glue onto the tip of the pencil. Then hold the center of your propeller blade to the hot glue until it cools. I use a 3D CAD program called Fusion 360 to design all my 3D designs, and I used it to design the propeller I use in my Engineering Wonder Show. The company that makes this software also makes another fantastic piece of software called Tinkercad. It's available on any platform, and it's a much more accessible piece of software for anyone who's looking to start 3D designing. I saved my design as an STL file and then opened it up in a slicer program. This is Bamboo Slicer. A slicer program takes your 3 3D files and turns them into G-code. G-code is instructions that your 3D printer can understand to print your project. I flipped the blades onto its side. I found this was the best way to print them. I added tree supports and then I sliced it. After you slice it, you'll be able to see exactly how your printer prints it, one layer at a time. And then I send the file over to my 3D printer and this is what it does with it. There it is, from computer design to in real life. Once you get it off your build plate, you're gonna have to tear off all the supports and you might even need to grab an X-Acto knife to trim off the little pieces that won't come loose. And it is done. Assemble it and get ready to test. It is time to test out all of our propeller designs. First, let's start with the very first one I made, this is, was a free hand. This was my test. Let's see how it goes. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try it again. Well, that didn't work. Am I spinning it the right way? Oh, I'm spinning it the wrong way. Spinning it the wrong way. Not bad. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It's getting some flight. It's floating a little bit. I would give this a um, 7 out of 10. All right, let's go with the small propeller template. So this, I'm going this way. All right, here we go. We'll try it again. Huh. It's not getting much lift. It's not going up. It's hovering pretty good, but it's not flying very well. You know, that was okay. I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. The large template. So let's see. Hmm. 
Here we go. I almost took out my head. Let's try it again. You know, I'd say it works a little better than the small one. And again, we do have variables here because it all depends on how it is bent. The pitch, the angle at which the blade is at. That's an important variable. I would give this one a 7 out of 10. I'd say it was just, just as good as the original small one I made. And let's test the long, thin blade here. All right. Uh, this one has a little more of a twist to it. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Whoa! That was really good! That was really good. I think this might be the winner. I think we have a winner. This is my best design, the long thin blade. Uh, I think it is definitely more curved than the other ones. I twisted it even more. I would give this propeller a nine out of 10. Now it is time to test my 3D printed design. Here we go. Ooh, that was nice. Of course, I have a ceiling here, so I can't fling it too high, but... Ooh, that, that popped well. <laughs> that was very good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, I would give this a eight and a half out of 10. Still room for improvement, but uh, it does a very good job. I'm very happy with this. I hope you give this project a shot. It's a lot of fun building something that can fly through the air. Here are a few questions to ask yourself when you're experimenting with your designs. What would happen to the flight of the propeller if you changed the length of the shaft? What might happen to the flight of the propeller if you changed the length or the width of the blades. What might happen to the flight of your propeller if you change the shape of the blades? What happens to the flight of the propeller if you spin it in the opposite direction? Is there an optimal design of the propeller that goes highest, farthest, fastest? Test your designs against other people's or against your own and see what works best. I challenge you to try designing your own propeller in a 3D CAD software like Tinkercad or Fusion 360. Have fun with your new propeller. If you post pictures of the ones you make, I would love to see them. Make sure you tag me in them or send me the files so I can print them out and test them for myself. I will see you in the next project.